Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Weapon X Comics, and uh, you got some um, books over the weekend at a uh, convention at the Reef here in Los Angeles. Uh, also visited, visited a crappy garage sale, and I got some books from like uh, two months ago that I, I still haven't gotten around to showing uh, from the Claremont Packing House and a store nearby, out that way. Uh, but before I do, I just want to. Um, it's funny because I was going to talk about uh, the. What the hell is it? The Secret Service number one and how it was undervalued. But what are the odds Longshank showed it? <laughs> he showed it today. So I'll show these two um, uh, Mark Miller series that I, I very much enjoy. Jupiter's Legacy and Starlight. Uh, these can be had in uh, 50 cent bins all day. So if you find these in the bin, uh, I recommend reading them. I, I, I feel that they're excellent. And uh, yeah, probably should. The Starlight one. I really love that one. Um, I also picked up a couple of eBay books. One had to go back because of damage, but um, I picked up X Men 2099 number one, the gold variant. I got this for $5.50 shipped. And also, yesterday on the way home, I stopped by an overpriced comic book store, and I, but I did find a uh, Flash 141. Now, this book's probably gone for about $15 currently on eBay. $4. So, um, let's get started. So, th these books here in the front. Uh, the, um, this from like three or three or four different vendors, uh, from the, uh, reef show. And, uh, so yeah, when I walked in, uh, Longshanks and I saw this table, it had a bunch of statues, a bunch of, uh, miniature figure, uh, lead figurines and it, everything was getting blown out. And, uh, pretty much as soon as we got there, some guy was like, um, let me buy, you know, I'm going to buy everything on your table. You know, what's the best deal you can do? And I think, well, anyway, you got a crazy deal. But I managed to get uh, Apocalypse, Juggernaut, and a Batman lead figurine, uh, brand new, for um, $5 for all three. So that was a really good deal. I was happy with that. Longshanks also got some uh, some statues, too, so that was cool for him. I don't really collect statues, but uh, for 5 bucks for all three of them, I thought that was, I thought that was an awesome deal. So, um... Let's see. All right. So these first three books, I got um, I got them all for two dollars a piece. First, we're going to start out with uh, Preacher number 41. Um, not too not too many keys. I mean, it's only a 60 issue run, so it's not too many key issues. This is one of them, though. This is uh, Preacher number 41. This is the first appearance or adult appearance of Lori Bobbs and uh, Officer Cindy Daggett, as well as uh, Jesse becomes uh, Sheriff of Salvation. Um Got this guy for two dollars, so I was happy to pick that up. And this guy's, you know, it's kind of jumping around. People are trying to sell it for like thirty dollars, but you know, uh, can't make up can't make up their mind what it's worth so far. Uh, Mega Man number twenty four. This is San Diego Comic Con variant. Um, did you know Sonic the Hedgehog and Mega Man had a fight? <laughs> well, they did, and it's in this book. Uh, picked this up for two bucks. Pretty cool cover. I like the I like the design there. Uh, this is one of those books that um, I constantly, constantly skip over. Uh, I've got many of these that uh, it, it's always been cheap, so you just kind of write it off. But um, I don't know. It's getting to that point where it's getting kind of old, so maybe you should have just should just jump on it. Uh, Marvel 2-in-1 Annual number 7 is the first appearance of the champion. Just love the cover. Somebody else showed this recently, too. So, uh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I got so many... Everyone that's subbed to me, I'm subbed to them, so it, it all kind of blends together. I'm trying to watch everyone's videos. Um, let's see, Outcast number three. Yeah, there's another vendor. Um, Outcast number three is the first print. I picked this up for cover price, and also Outcast number two. Now, uh, I would argue that this is a, um, a, a just just as important key as Outcast number one uh, for the reason that. Um, the main um, antagonist, uh, Sydney, is uh, makes his first appearance in this book, as well as uh, Donnie, um, the rapist who was also Kyle Barnes' uh, childhood bully, makes his appearance in this book as well. Not 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 so much, but uh, Sydney Sydney's uh, the um, the main reason you should you should pick this book up. Um, so yeah, what's a hero without his villain? So that's that, and. Uh... This was also a cover price. Uh, picked up a copy of... All right, this, is a, this last vendor, I got everything here for $30. Uh, 
So um, picked up Origin Part 3. I got this for 50 cents in near mint condition. I keep finding this, and I recommend everybody else picks up the series while it's still cheap. I could see that being worth something later. Um, but right uh, but right now, if nothing else, it's an excellent read that you could pick in high-grade condition for dirt cheap. So, yeah, for nothing else for that. I'm really happy to pick this up. Is uh, Walking Dead number 132, the Loot Crate variant. And I um, got him down to $10 on this. Uh, found another copy at his booth of Outcast uh, number two, first print, for uh, $3. Secret War, the Del Auto sketch variant. Paid $4 for this, Secret War number uh, book two. Um, good old eBay helped me out with this. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales swimsuit edition. They had a bunch of Grim Fairy Tales books there. Uh, I don't know much about the series, but what I do is I've noticed the raunchier the cover, uh, the more it's valued. So um, I, I looked this book up, and uh, it, I noticed it had gone for fifty dollars a couple of months ago. So, so yeah, for five bucks, I'll, I'll take it and I'll try and flip it on eBay. I know I keep saying that, but I haven't sold a book in over a year. <laughs> um, Preacher number eight. Uh, this I picked up for ten dollars, and I was happy to get it too. Uh, this is my second copy of this book. This is the first appearance of John and Christina Custer, Jody, Marie Langell, and TC. So uh, it's a great book to have, especially since this series is going. Um, we'll, we'll see how we'll see how it is. So far, it's okay. There's uh, there's flashes of greatness in there. We'll, you know, we'll see. We'll see if this uh, series ends up being any good. But so far, it's okay and it's pretty entertaining. So it's happy to get that. Uh, Rye number three. Uh, no, no, it was Rye number two. Uh, I couldn't remember why this was special. Um, I know it was recalled for a reason. I couldn't remember why, though. So I just took a chance at $3. But it, it, this is the wrong one. This is a standard cover. Uh, the, um, the recalled one has uh, black eyes and has, like, white lines on the edges. But whatever, you know. And the last... Oh. Last book I picked up is at a uh, booth where uh, I used to, I've been buying books from this guy since I was a kid, and I, I was uh, chatting him up as, as I was walking out, and um, I, I was just kind of flipping through a box while I was talking to him, and I think it was a quarter bin, and I pulled this guy out, and I, I need it, but I wanted my but hey, I wanted my friend to make some money, so I you know I gave it to him and I told him how much it was worth, and he's like really, and I was like yeah, and. Um, yeah, he said, well, if you want it, I'll give it to you for 10 bucks. Yeah, I could have had it for 25, but you know, I'm happy to give him the 10 bucks for it since I needed it. Uh, so yeah, Young Avengers number one, Wizard World uh, sketch variant. And this thing's going for like 50 bucks easy on uh, eBay right now. So I was happy to get pick that up. So uh, up next we have, let's see. All right, this stuff is from the Claremont Packing House. This is seriously, I've had this sitting around for two months now and I haven't been able to uh, show it yet because I have so much stuff just uh, hanging around back here and I gotta start cleaning this stuff <laughs> so uh, this is um, I picked this up at the Rocket Comics booth I got this for eight dollars this is the X-Men number 48 so it's in VG condition so it's a nice addition to my collection and uh, you know helping me complete my run so I was happy to pick that up. The rest of the books are 50 cents, so I'm just going to blast through them real quick. This is Punisher number 27, 26, trying to complete the Garth Ennis runs. Uncanny X-Men number 600, the Iceman toy variant. Dark Horse Presents number 10, First Appearance of the Mask. Uh, Origin part uh, 4 of 6, I got this for 50 cents as well, near mint condition. Uh, Hitman number 2, this book can sometimes go for about $10, uh, Joker cover. Uh, Wolverine number 20 from the second ongoing series for his appearance of Gorgon. Echo of Future Past number one. Uh, this is considered to be the first appearance of Bucky O'Hare. There was a, another, another, it was like a preview magazine, but uh, CGC will mark it as the first appearance of Bucky O'Hare for whatever that's worth. Impulse number 28 for his appearance of Arrowette. Someone showed this, and for the life of me, I can't remember because that was months ago. So if you're watching, I apologize. Uh, all right, so moving on. All right, so uh, this is a store um, down the street from the uh, Claremont Packing House, and this is where Longshanks and I ran into uh, Lightning again after the after the Claremont Packing House. We saw him there too. So um, yeah, 
I don't make it a habit of showing receipts because I usually destroy them because I got too much clutter in this room as it is. But I happen to uh, have the receipts in the bag still. So you can see what I paid and um, I aver they, they averaged out to $6.62 a piece for what I paid. So this is Old Man Logan 1 in 10 variant. Pick this up. So these are all $6.62. Uh, Old Man Logan number two. I like the red cover with Fighting the Hulk. Uh, Batman, the uh, Red Hood variant, or Cubert. Um, this is a one in 25. And, you know, not too attached to that. Uh, Deadpool variant number 50. That, or, yeah, this is a one in 50 cover. Uh, Secret Avengers number seven. Uh, this is a Brooks cover. Uh, this is my third copy, I believe, of this. But this one actually just got traded away. Uh, Punisher number 38, nothing special about this, just a white cover, and like I said, I'm trying to complete the runs. Uh, Brightest Day number 10, this will probably be the last copy of this that I buy. No, I think I've got more, but yeah, I'm not buying these anymore. <laughs> I got enough of these. This is the first appearance of, uh, full appearance of Deathstorm. Mortal Iron Fist number 10 is a really cool uh, zombie variant. And the uh, two uh, picks, uh, the good picks from that uh, that day was uh, Secret Avengers, the second print variant, issue 23, the first appearance of um, Agent Venom. Uh, Longshanks found a little stack of these and gave one to um, gave one to uh, Lightning, and he gave me one. And uh, Mortal Iron Fist, uh, second print variant of uh, number one. Um, this, of course, is a Delato variant. Um, so yeah, paid cover. Well, I really, in reality, I paid cover price for that. But like I said, they all averaged to six dollars sixty-two cents. So that was that. And moving on. Uh, all right, really, really crappy um, <laughs> uh, garage sale I hit this weekend. This jackass said he had ten thousand books or something, and he had like four long boxes. Well, anyway, it, it was a it was a big mess. He was his his whole ad was a lie. He, had, he said he had a bunch of... Well, anyway, let's just get on with it. It was just really frustrating. But uh, I pretty much pick, picked him clean of anything that was semi-decent. So uh, this was a cool find, though. Um, this is a Batman Venom animation cell. It's transparent when it's out of the bag and board. Um, yeah, I got that for a dollar. Uh, War Machine, a cartoon Whiplash. I believe that's Whiplash. Um, yeah, I got that for a dollar. Uh, Iron Man suits and War Machine, dollar. Uh... Vin Crew just showed this X-Man uh, 36, a uh, third part to the mo first modern Purple Man. Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday, Part 1. This is still sealed in good condition. It's really nice. It's like near mint. Damage Control, number 1. Batman, uh, <laughs> Dark Joker, The Wild, Ashcan, Batman Grendel, Ashcan, Moon Knight 52, just a cool cover. Adventures of Superman 500, the first appearance of uh, Connor Kent. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 117, the toy variant. Action Comics <coughs> 645, first appearance of Maxima. And uh, <laughs> the shit jam of, <laughs> of that all. Uh, Street Fighter number one, the gold edition, limited to 18,000. <laughs> uh, whatever. That thing's worthless, but, you know, if somebody else wants it, you let me know. Um... All right, this last stuff was from a little road trip I took at Longshanks a couple weeks ago. Uh, I picked up Walking Dead number 132. I found this uh, in the, you know, uh, this is a cameo appearance of Alpha again. Um, got this for $3. Superman American Alien, picked this up for cover price. Um, American Alien number three. Um, let's see, what do we got here? I right, found three copies of Superman Lois and Clark. Number eight, first appearance of John Kent as Superboy. And the cool thing about this is, this is actually the um, post-crisis, I didn't mention this before, but this is a post-crisis Superman. So the Superman that a lot of us grew up reading, this is his son. So I, it's gonna, it seems to be causing, I, I, you know, I don't know how they're gonna work everything out with, um, you know, the different universes you know, coming together, but whatever, it's not my problem. <laughs> And uh, the last uh, last thing, uh, last couple couple things I got there was there was a pack that had Doctor Manhattan one, two, three, and four. Be a poor Watchman, and uh, I got this whole set for ten dollars. So um, yeah, that was a cool pick. But uh, the gem 
of uh, this haul is New Gods, number seven, first appearance of Steppenwolf. Uh, picked that up for 10 bucks. So, um, yeah, I was happy to find it. I was shocked that it was still there. It was in a little run of New Gods that, that was in a box, old bag and board. And, uh, yeah, the guy, the guy at the counter, his eyes kind of bugged out when he saw it, but you know, uh, at least he didn't, you know, um, well, he backed his prices. So, you know, I'll give him that. He didn't, he didn't try to say, Hey, I can't give this to you for $10. He was just like, all right, good. You found it. So, uh, thanks. And, um, yeah, that's it for my haul. I'll be coming back maybe next week with another haul and hopefully by then I'll have some of this stuff cleaned up. Well, it's cleaner than it was, but anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. This is Weapon X, and I'll see you guys next time.